Hello video gaming fans, welcome to another episode of Video Game Hub. As always, I am Dave LeClaire, gaming editor for MakeYouSoap.com, and this week we are going to count down the top three stories from the world of video games. So kick back, relax, and let's jump right into it with story number three. Our third story this week is that The Witcher 3 has been pushed back into 2015. Unfortunately, this is some pretty sad news for fans who were hoping to get their hands on the game this year especially without promising it was looking in the trailers that have been released so far. But, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait. CD Projekt Red has put out a statement regarding the matter and they have explained why things have been pushed back and it pretty much comes down to they want to make the game better. It's a very huge undertaking and it sounds like it's gonna be Skyrim-esque in scale, which means it's gonna take a lot of time to make a game like that. So, here's a statement from the developers explaining why things have been pushed back. Uh, to quote one of the most important parts of the statement, we have the following. We recently re-examined what we had achieved thus far and faced a tough choice about the game's final release date. The decision we made was difficult, thoroughly considered, and ultimately clear and obvious. We could have released the game towards the end of this year as we had initially planned, yet we concluded that a few additional months would let us achieve the quality that will satisfy us and quality gamers expect from us. Consequently, we have set the release date for The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for February 2015. I myself tend to fall in the camp that I'd rather wait a little longer for a game that's good. I would prefer that they not push it out and then try to fix it with patches later. I think far too often we've seen game developers relying on, oh, we can patch it later, we can patch it later. And that mentality, I mean, you can see it in Battlefield 4. They put out a game that was more or less broken, and they're still trying to fix it. So. I would rather them wait, get the game out when it's ready, get the game out when it's quality, and let the gamers get their hands on the optimal experience, and that's what it seems like CD Projekt Red is doing, so good on them. We'll see them in February. As long as we're on the subject of games being pushed back to be made better, let's talk about Watch Dogs, one of the games that was a hotly anticipated launch title for both the PS4 and the Xbox One that has been pushed back. Well, we finally have a release date, and it is coming May 27th. That's good news for everybody who's impatiently waiting. It's still a little bit of a ways out, and it's certainly a ways out from November when the game was supposed to come out. But with the success of Assassin's Creed 4, it seems like Ubisoft wanted to get out of the way of its own game. So now that AC4 is winding down, it's time for them to come out with their next big release. Plus they had South Park stuck in the middle, and everybody knows South Park was an awesome game. They also put out a new story trailer for Watch Dogs, which you can see playing right now. It looks quite good. Definitely something to be excited about and we're very hopeful for Watch Dogs, but there's still a lot of stuff that we don't know, a lot of questions about the game. It looks like it's gonna be very good, but we'll see. Time will tell when it comes out if it actually delivers on all of the promises that it's made at E3 and throughout all the other trailers that have been pushed for it. We also learned the way the multiplayer is gonna work in Watch Dogs. It has drop-in, drop-out multiplayer where your friends can come in and actually hack into your game, seeing as the game is all about hacking. Thankfully, this is something that you can turn off. So if you don't want your friends to be coming in and ruining your game while you're playing, it's completely optional. But it sounds really cool, and for people who like to play games where you can kind of grief and griefing is encouraged, it sounds like Watch Dogs is definitely going to encourage that. So that, along with the release date, May 27th, things are looking good in Watch Dogs land, and we'll be waiting. Before we get to the number one story this week, I'm going to do something a little special for you guys. Especially for those of you who've been watching since episode one, which I, of course, appreciate a great deal. I'm going to show you an image right now from a game, a character from a game. Here it is. Now, can you tell me what game this is from? Don't name the character, that's too easy. What game is the character from, this specific scene? You can either comment here on YouTube or on Make Use Of if you are watching this directly embedded in the Make Use Of post. And if you are right, we will put your name in the running and the winner gets a free Make Use Of t-shirt. Kind of like this one right here, but we have plenty of other shirts, a lot of gaming specific ones as well. So comment here on YouTube or on Make Use Of with the name of the game that this image that you're seeing right now is from and you'll be in the running to win a free t-shirt. Now. Let's get on with our number one story. It's time for the number one story. And that is the NPD numbers, which actually were much closer this month than last month, where last month PlayStation 4 doubled the Xbox One in sales. This month, Xbox One was within 90% of the PlayStation 4. That's quite a big change when you consider that they were two to one last month, and now they're right there nipping at their heels, 
and the MPD group also said that Microsoft dollar for dollar sold more money worth of consoles, which makes sense because the Xbox One cost $100 more than the PlayStation 4. Microsoft did put out a blog post saying that they have sold a total of 258,000 Xbox One units in February, which is a giant increase from its 114,000 that it did in January. Uh, Titanfall, probably a big reason for that. People are getting ready to get the game and they want to get their console ready to go. So a lot of people are jumping in and grabbing a copy of Titanfall. So that's probably a big reason for the change. They also had that beta that you could play, and I personally know some people who actually ran out and bought their Xbox One as soon as the beta started because they wanted to get in on it so they could see what the game was all about, and they just wanted to play. So it's definitely good news for Xbox fans, definitely good news for Microsoft. Sony's still ahead, it's good news for Sony fans, but Microsoft is closing the gap, which is good news for everybody because let's be honest, what we really want is we want two consoles to be competing with each other at a level playing field because competition is going to make them do better things. If one console just crushes the other one, which seems to be what fans on one side or the other always seem to go for, you end up with a market with no competition and look at, then you end up with like your cable company where they can just do whatever they want and charge you whatever they want and they don't have to be better because there's no one to compete with them. So two consoles, both selling well, both succeeding, that's what's good for the industry. And if you're a fanboy and you disagree with me, why don't you let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your take on why you want one of the consoles to fail. Because it just doesn't make sense. There's no reason for either of them to fail. So, good news for everybody. Both consoles are selling well. And there you have it. Your top three stories from the world of video games in the last week. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm Dave LeClaire, gaming editor for MakeYouStuff.com. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out. If you enjoy the show, why don't you click the like button right down there. It really helps us out. And click the subscribe button over here so that you never miss another episode of Video Game Hub and all the other content we put out here at Make You Sub. And we will see you next week.